Hey guys, we're back with another Road to Rank 1 episode. We were actually in the top 100 from the last episode, ending up at 1329. Uh, we're jumping right back into the games. We'll do three matches and see how it goes. Hopefully we get some more points so we can move up on the leaderboard. A couple things that I wanted to announce before this episode starts up. The Wario's Gold Mine Mario Kart track is now live for you guys to play with your friends. I'll be releasing a second version of this map where the gravity is normal so you can fly around and hide and stuff. I'm going to add extra details so you can play hide and seek on it. Uh, sort of use a double purpose for the map. Also, stay tuned for the new Heat Seeker tennis map that I created. Uh, it'll be out on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'd also like to quickly thank you guys for reaching 40 million views on the channel just after 500 videos. Uh, I'm really enjoying the support. I really appreciate it. And if you guys do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get right into it. All right, we got our first game. We got Clavin. 1291. First kickoff was pretty good. Finish that off. So he went for the fast kickoff. I talked about this in the last video, if you guys didn't see it. Uh, going for fast kickoffs a lot of the time doesn't really work out for you. But can can pay off. We can save. <clears> to <throat> get touch. Sorry, I'm just choking on my own spit right now. <laughs> I'm trying to fix that right now. You rushed me a little bit. There we go. Play for him to challenge me. Uh, I pulled it out to mid. You always want to like kind of stay from the sides if you're not high boost. It draws the opponent in closer to you. There we go. It's a pretty decent kickoff by him. I'm not gonna get back. Yeah, so that was a pretty bad mistake by me to jump up like that. I could have probably just baited in the 50 50 and then went for the next touch afterwards. There we go. I read that real quick. Once again, fast kickoffs don't really work out that well against at least me because. I can see it's happening. The way I have my settings for uh, my camera is to be able to get a little bit of visibility over the ball. I missed the top corner there though. He might stay close. There we go. He rushed it from the side too. He's a little bit too far away from the ball. I was able to uh, read that real quick. I need some water after this game. <laughs> I'm really struggling out here. Like I said, I can't really, uh, can't really avoid a match. So any game that, any match that I get, I'm gonna play. All right, stick this over here. Get this boost. If he chips in early, I'll be able to beat him and get the boost. He's really far away. Oh, where'd he go? Well, this kind of sucks. Oh, we didn't DC or anything. Uh, we'll see what happens with this kickoff. If he's here or not. Okay, so he's not here. Oh! Oh my god! He just takes the ball! Alright! Okay, I see you. Yeah, I've experienced that a lot with the, uh, the ping. But ever since I've had, uh... Ever since I've had, uh, fiber optic, it's been fine. All right, I, I pulled pull that off a little bit closer than I wanted to. All right, that's fine. It's off target. That's fine. I wanted to challenge me here. There's some low boost. It's too bad. I'm just gonna stay with the 24 boost here. See if he turns in early. He does. I'm gonna go for the boost since it's a very tight angle. Get too too much there. Interesting. Not the strongest hit. Should give me the boost at least. Interesting. There we go. So you know he did take the the free goal, um, but he is struggling with his ping apparently. Uh, it's been around 44, 48 the whole time. 
That's straight, isn't it? There we go. Not too bad. Honestly, at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. Playing one's game still makes me nervous to this day. I'm not sure why. Uh, so that's probably why I'm like catching myself, like with my throat and stuff. One's is very scary, especially in a series where I can't, you know, can't avoid having a game in the series. So I have to make sure I'm always talking and and uh, basically talking about what I, I want to do, what my intentions are. Oops. Thank you. So it's a little nerve wracking for me. Uh, it's basically a little bit, a little bit too much pressure than I'm used to. I mean, I, obviously I'm a competitor and I, I've been in all CS and stuff, but honestly, th I'm very comfortable in three v three. But one v one is always, always questionable. I think still to date, though, the scariest. Uh, Scariest 1v1 was the uh, the Fairy Peak 1v1. Uh, best of one in League of Rockets. He was going to go for the demo on me. Um, yeah, League of Rockets was still probably the most spooky 1v1 I've ever played. Uh, ended up, I think it, f it was 5-4 for him. And I was actually in the lead a little bit, and then he pulled off this crazy shot. Still one of the weirdest shots I've ever been scored on. There we go. Just play a little bit late on the 50. That way it goes in my favor. Might better recover on this. Nice little flick. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I wish I could find the, uh, <laughs> the shot. Maybe I can. I'll record it or something. If not, I'm sorry. But it was in my match. And... Uh, oh, he missed the ball. He basically pulled off this late flip. Which back in the day was like unheard of. That's a pretty far throw away. There we go. Nice little flick to finish it off. Um, whenever you have those those hits like that, if your opponent is ahead of you, I would never throw the ball out like that. If you're trying to get a quick breakaway, I would say, yeah, then you can probably get a launch at the net like that. But otherwise, you're just going to give me the ball while you're headed in the same direction. And uh, you're going to be stuck for a while. Yeah, so this game's pretty much over. Um, well, obviously. I mean, it's... <laughs> 11-4 with 29 seconds. You guys know that. Um, we'll just finish it off and then see where we're at. Alright, so that's the finish of the game. Um, should be... I don't know where we're at actually at the moment because we were, what, 90th or 91st on the leaderboard at the beginning? Or at the end of last uh, video, but I haven't played ones in the last couple days, so probably a little bit lower. Maybe we even dropped out of the uh, top 100, but let's see. We got 8 points. It's pretty good. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Number 100 right on the dot. Might not be anymore. Yeah, so we moved up to actually uh, into the top 80, 85. All right, we got our next match. We got Dog Smoke Weed. Nice name. What's that? <laughs> He's a season 13 Florida floor destroyer. Which actually, I don't even know if I have one of those titles. There we go. Nice little flick. To be finished. Once again, that little quick change in the mid is what causes those goals to go in. Uh, if you see, I pull it in, then it drags him out into the net, and then I'm able to flick it back towards the left corner. Doesn't always work, but you gotta, gotta pay attention to it when it does give the opportunity to. Oh, what a fake. Should score that. He missed! Oh my goodness! Gave him a free wide open net. Doing a lot of fakes here. Just throw the ball away. Now I'll come out of the way so I can take the ball for free. Yeah, you really should have scored that. No excuse. It's fine. I didn't really get a good flip reset, so he could have uh, taken advantage. It's faster than I expect, though. Try and lead that forward so I can take a. A loop around the ball. And hopefully I got the angle. I don't think I did though. Yeah, I didn't. Um, but the way I, s I try to get those clears in ones is I smack it really hard off the, the back corner. So it actually keeps the momentum going forward on the field. Um, that way I'm able to try to get a breakaway as fast as possible. I did have an open net because of it. I just missed. So 
he's chasing behind me. So that's going to be open. Uh, you shouldn't really be following behind your, your opponent like that when he's got the momentum and following the ball. Once again, clearing that in a spot where I can follow it to a direct shot right afterwards. If the opportunity presents itself, which it did because he chased me, he really needs to loop back in and take the shortest route back to his goal. Since I'm ahead of the play on him. Let's see what he does here. It's a good flick. Oh, that was a really good flick. So, yes, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, uh,. You play lower level players and you don't really know what they're capable of. You can sometimes overstep your, your boundaries. And that's one example of that right there. Keep that light so he has to turn on it early if he wants to. Not a very hard shot here. I'll get the boost from him though. I missed the ball. He's very low but he should probably still score it. Yeah. That's a big mistake by me to take the boost advantage I had and throw it out the window. Um, he's very low, he can't really do much with the ball, so it's me very telegraphed what he does. And then I can play off his next poor touch once he wastes all his boost. Once again, a pretty solid kickoff. He's doing a pretty fast kickoff. I'm trying to read what he's doing ahead of time and move according to where he's going. So here he's on the left side, or on the right, his left side. And he went for boost when I can just score. So this is one thing that you learn a lot in ones is um, boost management or just when to sacrifice positioning for boost. And that was not one of them. <laughs> um, he tries to go for the boost steal. But in doing so, I can just take a quick shot. You don't need too much power when someone's way behind the ball. Oh, what a save. Did he hit that? So I'm just going to conserve boost here. Stay close. Don't need too much. He's going to outplay himself. Outplay himself again. And outplay himself again, maybe? Yep. I'm going to do an early flick here just to get the soft rolling ball. He's low boost. I'm just going to flick this top left corner. Not exactly, but it's enough. Just take advantage of his positioning way off the ball. The way, I, once again, I've talked about this in some of the older videos uh, in this series. About how I do like a late, an early flip to soften the ball. Uh, they're pretty important to use this space wisely. Pretty bad position for me to be in here. Yeah, shouldn't expect uh, shouldn't expect a high ball there. Just try to get a, a pretty solid 50-50 there by getting as much of my car in the way as possible. A really bad shot. I really should take more time to. Uh... Oh, nice bump! Oh, he saved it. Oh my goodness! It's a mess for this guy. And he's not back. Oh my goodness. He really should have scored. <laughs> I think he's upset with that one. That was not that was not fun. Knocked his car out of the uh, the way too off that. Not a bad game though. Uh, a few mistakes that I really shouldn't have made uh, against an opponent in you know lower like high 1100s, close to 1200. Um, I think I really oh he's he's unranked. Interesting. Um, so he's still climbing his unranked. Uh, Leaderboard, that's crazy. But yeah, I really shouldn't have made mistakes um, that I did. I kind of threw myself out of the way uh, of the play a few times when I didn't need to, especially when I had the boost advantage. So hopefully we can take that and learn for the next game. Oh, wow. Here's a battle. We got the exact same rank. This could be where I lose my first game uh, in a while. Uh, the only game we've lost in this series, like I said, was was Brisky um, early on. Hopefully that's fast enough. Nice. Good 50-50 so far. I'll play this game very, very seriously. I, I, hopefully, it can still talk through it. But Troco's a very, very solid 1v1 player. So far, so good. Got around him, but couldn't get the shot. Make it awkward for him to clear. He has to follow this through. I think I'm not be able to get the boost. I'll stay close on this since he's low. It's a good flick. It's a really bad shot. Oh. You can see we're both staying very close to the ball. This is the first time I have to move away. It's a good shot. I should have went so early. So we just respect his positioning and then move back uh, into goal line. But I thought he was going to go for a flip reset on the first setup. It's a good setup on the kickoff. It's a good shot, too. 
Yeah, so the first mistake was uh, going for that air dribble def defense instead of going close to the net. And then just a poor kickoff by me as well. He keeps going to the right and it's working for him, so I need to make sure I don't go left. Because it keeps uh, backfiring on me. Let's see how this uh, corner goes though. Should be alright. It's a bit awkward though, he's going to get the boost before me, he's going up. He did miss the ball though. I don't want to push this away right away. Too, too fast for him. There we go. Solid 50-50, but he's going to have the ball first. He's going to flick away too. So not great by me so far. Um, I had him in a really tough position. I was just too far away from the ball. Uh, my early chip did not work for me. You can see how important like the solid 50-50s on the kickoff is though. Oh man. He's still low. Just lock him in here. Oh that's lucky. Let's if I can get around him here. Ah, that's bad. I had the boost advantage for a second there. He's gonna stay with this. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get the lead back. Hopefully that's fast enough. There it is. First one. Once you have a lead in ones, it's really, really hard to uh, lose it, I would say. Or at least it's more difficult to lose it because people have to start forcing stuff. Yeah, see, so yeah, I go to the right this time. It actually works. So two of his goals were just from going right off the kickoff. That's really weak. Pretty poor shot. That's really bad line by me, too. I went off the line too far and then hesitated. So not great by me. Pretty poor play all around. Got the boost for me because he saved a little bit more than me. And I'm dead. Alright, so not great. Two to six. Hopefully we make some sort of comeback. Probably won't win this game, but make some sort of redemption on this second half. There we go. So I need to stop rushing just because I'm down goals. There we go. First one. Not too bad. This one problem is that I was trying to make faster shots, but that's how you start losing even more. It's a decent 50. Aw, oh, close. He almost ungold that. He's waiting on me. Should be alright. Should be able to stay with the boost I have. Doesn't realize I have more than, than he thinks. Off a little bit. Should be in too. Yeah, so he didn't play that, that great. Um, he tried to force me in. I just went for the boost after I faked the challenge. He's just trying to sit behind it and force me in. There we go. Ah, oh, I should have scored that. So he threw it away, gave me the boost and the ball here. He's very low. We're gonna go for an immediate flick. I don't mind this at all, he's very low. I shoot, shot that pretty poorly, but should have get the, bo the boost here. It's still very low. There we go. Played it smarter this time, this time around. Uh, we're only one goal down. Hopefully we can bring it back on this kickoff. I'm still going to go right because he's not really adjusting. Okay, there we go. He changed it up. So now i got to think a little bit more about what he's going to do next. Just force him out. I think we have to sit with it. Maybe we can demo him. Force him across. Maybe I get the boost before him. Just forcing him out again. There we go. Just trying to bait him in. So be a nice flick. Okay, we made the comeback. Holy crap. Dude, ones is so nerve wracking. It's actually so crazy. Just a few small mistakes. He might go left again. He changed it up. Trying to read him at the last second. 
So I'm not going to fall for the same air dribble problem that I had last time. He's going to 50 him here. He's pretty vulnerable in that situation. There we go. That was a really bad read by me. I, I had to readjust and just kind of get the butt shot. But uh, it could have been a lot easier for me if I just took my time. I was just really afraid that he was going to rush it. Okay, he went the even side again. Just rushed that because he was giving a little bit of an opening. I could see it. That going to be in too. That is going to be in. That's unfortunate. I really should have just uh, had a heavier touch. I could have beat him on the aerial. There we go. Solid. There we go. Nice 52. Off that kickoff to give me that space. 30 seconds left. Whew. All right, let's see how this 50 goes. This is another corner kickoff. All right, change it up too. Just trying to get a good read on him. The solid hit. What a save. It's around him. Should give me some time. Oh, he killed me. It's going to be a good shot by him. Oh, oh my God. We made it. He has one more chance to bring this up. There we go. Oh my God. We made it. <laughs> oh, hope you guys enjoyed that sweaty match. Uh, that was insane. I can't believe I brought it back from the two six deficit. I really thought that was gonna be another loss. Uh, and I just kind of accepted it, but held my ground. Oh my God. I'm, my heart is beating so fast. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was, it was really fun. This is kind of like I get really nervous in ones, but at the same time, it's very exhilarating when you when you get those kind of comebacks and stuff. We were the exact same rank and we almost got the exact same points. That is the most even game I've ever seen in my life. Um, I had a lot more shots, though. All right. So, so far, we're at 1351 rank 66. It's not too bad for six episodes so far uh, from unranked. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully in the next episode, we can get to top 50 and then move even closer to the top 25 and then hopefully rank one within, <laughs> if I could do it in 10 episodes, that'd be crazy, but I don't think it's possible at all. Yeah, it's not possible. Uh, cause I believe Ocalid is super far ahead. Yeah, that's, that's Ocalid there. He's actually 201 points away. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do like this, this kind of content besides my, uh, custom apps and stuff, hopefully you guys subscribe if you do. Um, and uh, like the, the video if you liked it as well. Let me know what you guys want to see other than this as far as custom game modes and stuff. I really like to read what you guys have as suggestions. And I put a lot of work into the maps all the time. I'm basically constantly working on them. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.